All right, let's talk about Justin Bieber because you can't do a week's worth of shows and not talk about Justin Bieber. He was uh, doing a concert in Istanbul, Turkey, and he stopped for Muslim prayers. And he actually, originally, this was getting a ton of good buzz. People were backing him on this. Now, of course, people are saying, is he secretly Muslim? What is he doing to the American <laughs> youth? And I have a feeling that Cenk might have an opinion on this. Yeah. Uh, well, it's time to reveal it. Bieber, Muslim. <laughs> he's one of us. We've been hiding him. Though. He's a sleeper cell. Oh, and, nice. yeah. and you know how we were coming for your kids? Just got him. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when, when they say believers, they mean believers in Mohammed. That's right. Yeah. Um, so, sad day. We've got all your kids now. If you want them back, okay, uh, we're going to need a lot of money. <laughs> okay. No, so, I mean, all he's doing is being respectful. Yeah. Because there's a call to prayer happening at the time. Now, Muslims were incredibly uh, pleased with this it, because they don't often get respect. And then here's this enormous pop star in the world giving him that respect. They're like, oh, thanks God or Allah. Yeah. Right? And, but what you don't know if you've never heard an azan is how loud it is. So if you're in the middle of a concert and you've got oh, all the mosques in Istanbul doing the call to prayer, you almost kind of have to stop. But nobody else. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? But nobody but even else. Right, even Muslim. But nobody else has, right? I mean, right, they must right. have gotten through it somehow. So it's, and he, look, I don't know what happened, and let's assume that he did the right thing for the right reasons, and I want to give him all the credit. I, I remember when I once went to Turkey with my uh, girlfriend, who, of course, now is my ex girlfriend, that was a long time ago. It, one of the first call to prayers is really early in the morning, around five. And she got up that first night, and, and in the morning she was like, who was that man singing in the middle of the night? Because it's like a song, and right. it's all the mosques throughout the, which, by the way, makes me not want to live in Istanbul, because at every five in the morning, oh, you're like, oh, for Christ's sake. And this, is, yeah. and this is five times a day. Five times a day. I can't drink five glasses of water a day. <laughs> do, do you think, though, this is just an example of how a celebrity at this level, especially a Justin Bieber celebrity, can't do anything right or wrong without everyone going nuts? Well, because it's like he went to the Anne Frank house, which the Anne Frank people actually backed what he did, and they said this is good, it gets people talking about Anne Frank, but then everyone was saying he was disrespectful, he said she oh, would have been a believer. And well, he wasn't, it, He's an idiot. Justin Bieber. He's a, <laughs> okay. kid, kid That's is, a good term. Kid is a fool. Um, and there may be hope for him somewhere down the road. But his behavior, all of a sudden, you know, I like the Justin Bieber movie. We all did on What the Flick. We gave it a pretty good review because it seemed to kind of like, you felt like you got to know him a little bit. It was a little bit revealing. But in this tour, I mean, with the showing up at a concert in London like two and a half hours late, there's like 13-year-olds at this concert. You can't start a concert at 11 for nine-year-olds. And he also went after a photographer like he was all thuggish one time, you know. And he's and, wearing German gas masks right, right, when so, he walks down the street. I mean, right, there's something. Right, something has slipped with this guy. And again, I got it. Even if he just said, Justin Bieber, hey, cool place, and seems awesome, exclamation point, right? But he didn't get it. Like, he doesn't get it, and he doesn't have people around him who are helping him to get it. Like, of course, Anne Frank wouldn't have been a believer, for crying uh -huh. out loud. Right? She might have been a fan. She had posters of, you know. But, uh -huh. but he just, like, so this strike me as, as for the, I read this, and I thought, I hope this is representative of him trusting someone. Of yeah. someone saying, someone told him, hey, this is, this is a good thing this to is, do. This is going to, this is going to help, and we're going to do eight things like this over the rest of the tour, and by the time we get back, all that other nonsense. You know, I, I wonder what percentage of the people that were at the concert would have actually cared whether he stopped or not, because they were there I in have, the first place. I have the answer. So I, I grew up uh, till I was eight in Turkey. You know, obviously I went back all the time, and my family's from here. I know the answer, okay? No, like, I would be shocked if more than one and a half percent of the people there actually were going to pray at, it, at, during prayer time. One and a half percent maximum. Because they just wouldn't have maximum. gone in the first place. They're Turks. They're, they're yeah. Turks are incredibly secular in the first place. Turks going to a Justin Bieber concert are even more secular. They didn't go there to do the prayer. They didn't bring their Muslim prayer rug with them. But don't get me wrong. They super appreciated it. Not that because they were going to pray, but because, hey, hey, he's sensitive to our culture. He respects us. That And to a Turk... Getting that kind of respect is very important, so I'm sure that they love him for it now, even though no one was praying. Right. I wonder, though, do you think there's a chance that some of the secular people that were there were upset by it because they this is sort of their escape to secularism mm -hmm. when they go to a, a Justin Bieber concert, oh. and then you're throwing the religious thing that's in it's in every country 
uh, and then it's just sort of appearing in a place that it doesn't even belong. You because know? he's Western, I don't think they would have had that reaction. If he was Turkish, definitely. Ah. Half the crowd would be like, Allah belasın evet. <laughs> which means, <laughs> may <laughs> God damn him. But like, what are you busting up my concert for with your stupid religions thing? And because they, it's a very sensitive topic in Turkey, the seculars yeah. versus the religious. Right. And so if somebody gets in your secular space with their religion, yeah, a lot of people might be annoyed. Right. But uh, near as I can tell, Turks are like 14-year-old uh, kids living in the streets of Baltimore on the wire and uh -huh. caring about their sneakers. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's all about respect. Respect. Showing right. proper respect. And so they probably thought, hey, look at this guy. It's awesome. Now we can get a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. no question. Yeah. yeah, and look, it, so that's true of Turks because partly because of our nature, etc. We're a little Klingon Dothraki, right? Um, but uh, also in the Muslim world, there's so the one thing that drives people the most is this lack of respect from the West. That the West is dismissive of Muslims as backwards, etc., and you know, barbaric and terrorists and all this stuff, and that has burrowed under Muslim skin. Yeah. So when so Muslims, a tiny, 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 tiny fraction are radicals, right? You know, Fox News wants to make them all radicals, etc. But on the other hand, a gigantic uh, percentage of Muslims are bitter at the West for the tremendous disrespect they feel uh, coming from the West. I mean, look, the Palestinian thing is the number one example of that. I mean, you know, today there was a story. Israel decided, oh, you villagers who have lived in this area for thousands of years, you're gone. It's now a military firing zone. You'll be evacuated. We'll destroy your homes, and it's now ours. You're okay? saying they don't like that? Yeah, that that tends to get under people's skin. And but but it's not just those guys. It's not just the Palestinians. It's a random Muslim, and it might be in Jordan, and it might be in Indonesia, who thinks, fuck, man, we're powerless. And they just keep running over us, and God, that sucks, you know. And that's the anger, that's the frustration. And so, when a Westerner shows respect in in of your Muslim call to prayer, even if you're not religious, you're like, oh, thanks God, somebody. So finally. forget all that other Justin Bieber nonsense <laughs> on all this tour. Like, well, if, if what you're saying is true, and it sounds like ridiculously true, um, like this was great. Yeah, it was. It was a great, 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 great thing.